I think uh, first off, I just want to say this is not a vlog. Also, I know I'm like so bad at putting stuff up on YouTube, uploading content here on YouTube. I can't remember the last time I made an upload. And to be honest, I don't know how frequently I'm going to be doing these kind of uploads for this kind of, I know what you want to call it, series. I don't know but one thing i do want to do is just kind of let you know this is something that i'm going to try and upload this is kind of my own attempt at maybe creating you know some kind of content for youtube and regularly uploading as much as i can it is uh just about after 3 a.m i said to have a quick look on my pcs over here and a few hours ago i just finished stream playing some more rp that's what i've been playing a lot lately after i finished stream pretty much just kicked back for a little bit and then had a feed had to do the old mac as well man that's the only thing that's open around here and then yeah pretty much just sitting there contemplating whether i should record this video now or do it in the morning and i thought i better do it now because if i procrastinate and do it say i'm gonna uh, if i procrastinate and say that i'm gonna do it in the morning it's gonna be the next morning it's gonna be the next day anyway fuck look where is my bunny's hat no it didn't work there we just went the other day we're just buying some stuff like like my new portable aircon over there and i'll just i'll eat by the random stuff anyway what this is gonna be is this is gonna be me just rambling on about random stuff i don't know just talking about all sorts of stuff whatever i think about at the time that i record the video it's gonna have very minimal editing i'm probably just gonna chop it up to make the video shorter so it's not looking like i'm just trying to make some kind of like random videos it makes it look like people watch my videos longer or any of that bullshit and i'm just gonna talk about whatever's on my mind at the time now this first one i couldn't really think of uh any exact subject i think just one thing that was asked on stream the other day that a lot of people ask about all the time and it's something it's something that i feel like that i can kind of answer in, in some way or something that i have some knowledge about per se i'm not saying that i know a lot about it but you guys kind of catch my drift you guys kind of catch what i'm trying to say i hope i hope you do anyway and that question is like just some tips on streaming like what works well what people should do whether you just started streaming or whether you're streaming for a little bit and all that kind of stuff you guys know what i'm trying to say there's usually like three main things that i usually say when people ask me that question um number one and this is one thing that i've kind of learned just over time oh actually before i do get into any of this i do just want to say that this is just me this is me and my the things that i've experienced i'm not saying that this is going to be the solution this is not going to be the perfect uh, blueprint plan whatever but these are just things that i've done that i've that i've done in my time in streaming that have worked well for me that i've kind of just kept by and you know i've been blessed to be able to continue to make content whether it be on twitch whether it be on youtube social media wherever so again this may or may not work for you definitely try it out if you want to but these are some things that have kind of worked for me over the time that i've been streaming and creating content all that kind of stuff have fun man just have fun whatever you do now we'll delve into a little bit deeper about like being able to measure and being able to track like things that you do numbers wise viewers followers view counts viewership blah 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 etc um but i think overall one of the main things because it is mentally draining streaming content creation can be very mentally draining can be can take a big toll on, on your mental uh, stability um but just enjoy yourself man i've seen a lot of streamers and even myself when i very first started streaming i've seen a lot of streamers just burn out man because they just go too crazy it is very exciting it is very addictive so just make sure that you look after look after number one man look after your mental so enjoy yourself probably the best and, and most relevant most uh recent example that i could give is me switching up from the type of games that i play now for those who don't know most of my online uh slash streaming content was basically or mainly fortnite i kind of grew my community around fortnite fortnite customs fortnite tournaments and all that kind of stuff probably about maybe four or five months ago i switched and i started to main quite a lot of grand theft auto 5 rp for those who don't know what they are in short it's like modded servers on pc modded gta 5 servers on pc where um, rp stands for roleplay and you take on the life of a character that you create so for example i have a guy his name is junior meets that obviously i control in the game uh, junior meets owns a mechanic shop and he's like the leader of a gang pretty much in short so you just live out the life and see what he does it is crazy for content creators because it really just comes down to your creativity and what you want to get up to anyway that's got to be for another another story for another video but i've recently switched up from fortnite to something like that totally different totally you know i played rp before but i never really mainly streamed it and stuff like that one of the biggest reasons for changing for swapping for switching it up altogether was just enjoying uh enjoying what i do you know i guess with fortnite i kind of came to a point where i kind of i don't know it felt kind of repetitive i felt like you know you really had to push just to you know just to feel like you're pushing out content now i'm not saying this was for everyone this was mainly just for me i felt like a lot of the stuff had already been done and stuff like that and i felt like it i felt like unless you took the path of a competitive player it was really really hard if, if near impossible to continue to do what i was doing at the time i switched across to i think i started playing like a lot of wars and a lot of other games and my also also known he hit me up and he said hey why don't you come play some rp i remember you playing rp way back in the day when i first followed you why don't you come play some more the rest is history man cheeky plug if you guys want to come and see some rp Twitch tv for slash solid gifts if you guys didn't know I actually live stream i try to live stream every day guys that's where you guys can check me out come through yourself so anyway enjoying yourself man it's um 
it does a lot for your mental bro make sure that you are in the right you know that you are in the right space i guess another way to put it usually when i stream i try and aim for like around four to six hours per day per night i want to try and push for more and being able to do that constantly every day you know a lot you want to make sure that you enjoy what you do it's kind of like kind of like a job or kind of like work and stuff like that you know whatever it is that you do make sure you enjoy yourself uh what's that saying you know if you enjoy yourself and never work another day in your life whatever you know you, you catch what i'm trying to say yeah so just enjoy yourself man there's no use in doing something because it just gives you a sour taste doing something just for the sake of doing it doing something because everyone else is doing it do what you enjoy and i feel like that'll definitely at least help another thing focus on your community man one thing that has been very very important very very close to me is a community people that come through and chat people that people that i connect with in social media and then also on the other side of things like people that i work with like sponsorships and all that kind of stuff focus on your community man they're a big reason in my opinion they're a big reason why you do what you do or um how you are able to do things that you do on each each and every day if you're a streamer if you're a content creator i strongly believe that um, a lot of this kind of stuff is community based and community pushed if that makes sense yeah put it this way without my community i do not know where i'll be obviously i still have my friends and my family and stuff like that uh, but without the community there'll be a lot of things that i would not be able to be a part of or have experienced like during my time streaming and stuff like that you know i've been able to travel across australia which has been pretty dope been able to go to different events for gaming and all that kind of stuff and then even take part in stuff like like ao we went down to melbourne for fortnite and all that kind of stuff that stuff's crazy man if you told me that i was going to be doing all that kind of stuff when i first started streaming creating content i would not have believed you i would have laughed at you and i would have thought that you're probably crazy but we're able to do that man and that's honestly from what i believe not only thanks to hard work and effort that i put in but the community man the community got me there i was live streaming a lot of the time while i was there even even able to live stream all the way down until i was about to play you guys can check out the vlog i put a vlog up on my youtube you guys can go check that out um so community man focus on them they are the ones that help push you and help keep you going help motivate you and all that kind of stuff focus on them they will help you not only grow but they will help you achieve things like for example you know people talk about partnership on twitch and all that kind of stuff you won't be able to do all that your community like one thing that i used to do when i very first started streaming people used to come up to my stream and then i used the chatbot to make like a game where where they could like gamble like points like internal points that they could use and you know like accumulate points and stuff like that now there was two reasons why i done that firstly i thought it was just a cool thing that people could do if they came through to my chat and just like oh cool you know let's let's gain some points while we're here you know watch and saying that as well the second thing is that i would actually have to type a message and i'll see who's typing the message and um, though it could be a little bit up front it was a way for me to kind of connect with them say hey man how's up how have you been blah blah, blah. if it's their first time there trying to meet them say what's up you know introduce myself etc etc how ask how their day was and all that kind of stuff you know on top of that like with the whole community and thing and stuff like that like i try to remember people as much as i could you know like if people came in for the first time you know i'll introduce myself i'll meet them and then next time i might see them again like a day later or a week later whatever i'll try to remember them and i'll try to remember one thing about them oh hey how's your kids or hey how was your day at uni or how was your day at school you know what i mean that was purposely done by me in an effort to try and connect with them connect with the community try and connect uh, create some type of relationship uh, my stream i feel has always been a place where or my idea of my stream or my idea of my community and chat has been a place where people can just come through kick back and chill um sometimes people just don't even chat people just like to just hang out see everyone else talking see what i'm getting up to and just kick back you know and i'm cool with that man i want it to be um a space where people can feel safe people can just you know hang out you know i know what it's like man whether you're working nine to five or doing whatever you want to do and you just want some relaxation time you just want to kick back you know have some time to yourself or just you know spend time with others you know my stream i feel like is a place where you guys can do that so again community very 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 important in my opinion if not one of the most important things in my opinion focus on that grow your community create one if you don't have one already and and build on it man it's not going to happen overnight but i will say that once you do do that, that you'll definitely see some changes as well third thing um now this one's a little bit tricky right i think the best way that i've kind of explained it before in streams and stuff like that is know your num no like no like ugh. it's in regards to like analytics so like things to do with your stream like how many viewers how many people watch blah 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 know these numbers understand them uh, but don't don't look at it in a negative way you know don't put a negative spin on it you know i see time and time again people feel like you know people worry about you know viewer account or people may worry about follow account a hey, each of their own man you know obviously people have different goals and people have different ways of explaining their goals and express themselves for that kind of thing but what i've found is that there's a lot of streamers out there a lot of content creators there they get their mind wrapped up they get so caught up in all these numbers and and it takes over their head and they fo they they fully forget about the content that they're delivering as well as the community that's there just for them i strongly believe that the first two things that i talked about enjoying yourself and focusing on community if you do those correctly and if you do those really well 
the numbers will follow. It just naturally happens. Now, it may not always be the case depending on a few different things because there are all types of different content out there on the internet, whether it be uh, a stream like mine or whether it be like another stream where they focus on different, cover, uh, different type of content, you know? But I strongly believe that, you know, if you... Like numbers aren't like, I strongly believe that like numbers aren't the be all end all, you know what I mean? For example, yes, follow account and view account for that same meta can definitely help out for with a lot of different things, whether it's something like partnership that you're going for, whether you're grinding for a team or an org, or whether you're just trying to reach out to try and get sponsorships and stuff like that. Yes, that can definitely help. But again, that's not the be all end all. I've seen and I've experienced situations in where someone may have, I don't know, one, two, three hundred people in their chat, like watching their stream or something like that. Um, but barely anyone's talking, maybe like five to 10 people are talking. I feel like it's more about engagement and stuff like that i guess just quickly reverting back to what i said again this may not be for like this uh, i guess advice if you want to call it that may not be for everyone you know maybe different for everyone else and it especially depends what kind of content that you deliver and what kind of stuff they're into but things that i've experienced things that have worked well for me it usually doesn't always matter about that kind of stuff man it could be different for everyone and depending what you're like working towards and what they're after and things like that that might not be the thing that they're after that might not be the thing that they're looking for you know you could have a lot of viewers but if nobody's engaging with the content now again over my time because not only um of my hard work and my family sacrifices and my sacrifice and stuff like that but also the community i've been able to be a part of a lot of cool things i've worked with some big brands like logitech blue astro ice break like real ice coffee five gum for example and much much more even got to work with companies like epic games and doing all the stuff for fortnite i've been blessed to like a few years ago to be able to join the awesome esports org what i consider my my, my online slash gaming family my freak and all the opportunities that they've been able to bring to me which then i've been able to celebrate with my own community i guess more general things that a lot of people um, are used to and stuff like that they have actually worked for me are things like a schedule and stuff like that you know posting on social media um as well as being active and consistent with your content these things definitely help like for example a schedule um, I, 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 uh, the schedule i like to use that example you know if you have like a favorite tv show or something like that however well, you know if you watch tv or watch your or even things like anime you know how your episodes come out once a week or how the tv shows at like 7 30 p.m every monday tuesday thursday whatever i don't know but you know how it's like that how there's a set type of schedule you know when you expect a certain time for your show to be on or you know a certain time you know and expect a certain time for your animated to, to release or to drop right same things with your streams you know once you've kind of built that committee once you've kind of created that if you have some type of schedule that you can kind of let your committee know when you're going to be live when you're going to be streaming when you're going to be releasing content then that can definitely help too and even sometimes what they'll do is they'll kind of create time and they'll kind of create a space um when they can you know they can actually make time in their own schedule so that they're making sure they're keeping up with the content that you're bringing now i know it's probably not the best <laughs> obviously at the start of this video i said that i don't even know when i'm gonna be dropping videos like this uh, but these are things that i have tried actually in the past and they do actually work even things like posting up on instagram story go follow me at solid gifts on instagram i'm like when i'm gonna be going live how many hours counting down with that all that kind of stuff that does help man i have noticed the difference but when i do it and when i don't do it and like how many people actually come through and show up throughout the night and all that so it does actually help man putting a schedule up and saying that as well it doesn't have to be some insane crazy hours man make it whatever fits around your life schedule at the time being if you go to school if you go to school you're not gonna be putting up that you're gonna be going live at lunchtime on a wednesday afternoon you know what i mean unless you don't go to school on a wednesday afternoon anyway you know i've seen some people where they only schedule like one two maybe three days a week max and that's good because they stick to those one two three days and people know that that's when they're gonna go live and they're gonna make time in their own lives you know just to try and catch their streams the so schedules definitely help schedules definitely help i remember when i first made my uh, first schedule with my wife um she actually helped me and i thought it was actually a pretty good idea because she usually knows what's going on a lot more than me in an outside streams and with like with the life that we have like with our kids and our family and all that kind of stuff so big shout out to her she's actually the one that helped me make that if you have another half or if you have other responsibilities in your life it would definitely help if you include that in your schedule make sure that you're aware of that again quality not quantity man you don't have to be streaming freaking 12 hours every day freaking eight days a week i know there's only seven but you guys catch what i'm trying to say you guys know what i'm trying to say yeah another thing social media man use it to your advantage i think one thing that that is very very tricky for for twitch or for twitch streamers per se is um discoverability especially if you're new and if, especially if you're just starting up and stuff like that discoverability um on twitch can be very very tricky i think um one one example that i had given on stream before is um is youtube right you jump onto youtube whether you go on the home page or whether you just like watch a video or whatever at the end of that video what it's automatically going to do is it's going to give you another recommended video and it's going to keep going most of the time it's different channels sometimes it's the same channel but you guys see what i'm trying to say damn it freaking memory card ran out freaking uh space in the memory card run outside to quickly switch them across i'm lucky man i'm lucky i had another memory card right here ready 
ready to go. But yeah. Anyway, what I was trying to say, when you click on the YouTube icon on the top right, and then it takes you back to the homepage and you see like a whole heap of videos that, that YouTube is recommending to you, all about different things that may be interested to you. Unless you're on the homepage, Twitch doesn't really have anything like that. And it kind of makes sense, you know, once you click on somebody's, um, you know, for those who haven't been on Twitch, you have like a side panel where you can see everyone that you actually follow. Like on the homepage, you jump into the homepage, you see like a whole heap of recommended stuff. That's probably the only opportunity there. And then once you click on the stream, you're pretty much in there unless you manually, unless you force yourself or unless you choose to go to like another stream, whether it be from the panel from the side, whether you go back onto the homepage and try and find somebody new or whether you just search it up, you know what I mean? Or if they end stream or rate, et cetera, et cetera. Because it's usually like a live show and once you join, you're, you're pretty much there. So unless somebody hosts or rates somebody else or if you go to the homepage and manually trying to look for other things, it's really, really hard to kind of get discovered on Twitch, especially if you're streaming a game that has like a lot of saturation, like a lot of people streaming to that game, like for example, Fortnite or something like that. You could say the same thing about GTA um, RP as well. One way that I'd kind of help with that is um, I used to post like a lot on uh, social media. Like I used to do a lot of things on social media and try and get my audience from social media to watch my Twitch stream, trying to show value and why you should watch a Twitch stream, why instead of, you know, like I would post up like little montages or little highlights from my stream, cool clips or something like that, something that had happened on my social media and try and get people like cross and get people to come over. That wasn't the, one of the only, that wasn't the only way that I used to do it as well. Things like giveaways can definitely help too. But the main idea was to try and get people to show their value in actually watching the live stream instead of just watching what happened after like on social media. I can't be too loud, it's about quarter to four in the morning and I think I just heard my son maybe waking up. I'm gonna be real quick and finish this thing up. So yeah, like I was saying before, you wanna try and show that value. You don't wanna, you know, you, you kind of think to yourself, why, you know, if you were like a viewer and if you were looking at their content, why would you want to go to watch that stream? You can figure that out. That's pretty much 90% of your problems in trying to get people to come across and watch it. Use social media, man. Use it as a tool, it's free most of the time, depending on how you're using it. And it's a cool way, it's a cool creative way that you can uh, get people to see your content. In the past, like I've done giveaways where it's like, for for subscribers only or for Twitch followers only. Uh, sometimes if it's like on social media, if I'm trying to help push something on social media, you know, people do things like, you know, follow this, like this post, share this post and all that kind of stuff. It's all around like awareness and just trying to get your content out there or like whatever you're trying, even yourself or just trying to get like your name and stuff out there. I've done those giveaways where like to actually enter, you have to be in the live stream, you have to put a command in chat. To actually claim the prize, you have to say like, hey, I'm here. You have like, you have like two minutes to kind of say in chat that you're actually there so that you claim the prize. And what that obviously do is that'll create a bit more awareness and get people um, watching your streams. Now I'm saying all this, now this is really cool and obviously you um, obviously you might have the issue of people might just show up just to, you know, kind of get prizes and stuff like that. It just happens, it is what it is. But during that time, during that time, you will most likely have a lot of new people come into your streams or people that um, may only just be there for the prize, but while they're there, you can try and, it is almost your job to try and convince them to stay there or at least to come back another stage if they're busy at that time. Use that time wisely. Oh, what the heck is this? Here you go. Yeah, this thing was hanging down. I was like, I could see it on my eye. Anyway, use that time wisely, man. Use that time to be able to promote yourself and let them know what you do. Now, not everyone's gonna like what you do. Not everyone's gonna like your content. That's just how everything goes. There may be more people that actually have found your content through like a giveaway and stuff like that and have stayed there. Over my time, again, I've been lucky enough to, am lucky and blessed enough to meet a lot of cool people, not only through giveaways, but through social media, through other Twitch streamers, through just communities and playing video games and stuff like that. So again, I'm grateful and blessed to be even be able to say that, just though. So again, Use social media to your advantage, man. I think lastly, just be you, man. Be you. Don't don't try and be someone else on um you know online. I've seen, you know you see it time and time again because it is very easy to be someone else when you're online and stuff like that. It's very easy to portray some type of image. One thing that I try and do, one thing that I try and be is the the solid gifts that you guys see here um on your screen, however you're watching me and all that kind of stuff. It's the same sort of gifts that if you saw me in real life, it's gonna be the same. Um, I've been able to meet a lot of cool people from the community that I've met online. I've been able to meet them in real life, and I hope that they think that's same way about me but that's one thing that i try and do man like what you see here is the same thing that you're gonna see in real life you know but be you man enjoy yourself i feel like if you do like most of these things i'm not saying that this is the again i'm not saying that this is the be all end or i'm not saying that this is the master blueprint or anything like that i feel like if you do these things it can definitely help you in some way don't have to do all of them don't have to do them in any specific order if you do them you know it can help in you know a specific way i think one thing that a lot of people do um get caught up in whether you first start streaming or whether you've been streaming for a while um is numbers and i know that i 
just recently spoke about it before and i guess just to delve a little bit deep about things i don't think i talked much about it just then you know things that i used to do say oh you know solid gifts like what do you mean like instead of just looking at followers and all that kind of stuff what can you do torches tools like in the analytics and stuff like that you can really break it down you can really see one thing that i used to do is um you can actually have a look and see with your viewers or people that watch your stream kind of where they come from like what communities and stuff like that whether it's another streamer or if there's another game in common that most of them like to watch and things like that roughly where the demographic is from whether they're local to you whether they're from another country for example a big majority of people that watch my streams and my content are based in new zealand a majority of them uh like i think from memory a majority of them are male and a majority of them um are aged from like 18 to 35 or something something like i don't know something like that i gotta check it again but using that information to your advantage whether it be um to help you with the type of content that you create or whether it be like for example if you're playing at a specific time or playing a specific game and if you obviously again if you're enjoying yourself and if you enjoy yourself doing that continue that man do it some people ask you know what should i do the answers are right there man obviously it's not going to be as easy as just like you know oh yeah cool six o'clock you know and everything's going to be fine you know there's a lot of work that comes to it you know for those who don't know i've probably been doing this for almost like three years now i've had the opportunity to be able to do this full-time and semi full-time partially full-time and stuff like that for geez for quite a while for a few years now um i started off streaming like on facebook this is going way back man this was before like any kind of like level up gaming program all that kind of stuff man back in those days you could only stream for like four hours at a time and you couldn't stream anything higher than 720p so this is going way back and it all started just for just jamming with my boys naki kana medi you know and a few other boys you just thought you know we you know we play enough video games why not stream it man why not get into all that kind of stuff and check it all out you know from there i kind of moved from facebook to twitch because i felt like it was a it was a lot more of a mature platform in the way of it being built you know for streamers and people that want to get into that kind of stuff i just moved across to twitch got affiliated pretty quickly and then about a year year or so later i got partnered so i have been around for some time man if this is like the first kind of video where you're interacting with me firstly welcome but that's just like a little uh, a little background as to like what i've done and, and all that kind of stuff if you guys want to see more you just check out some of my other youtube videos i'll try to do more of these types of videos i don't i'm pretty sure man it's it's kind of tricky bro it's like 3 4 a.m in the morning like i said before it's kind of tricky to think if i'm if I'm forgetting anything or if I'm missing anything, maybe I might have to make a part two of this kind of video. But these are the kind of things that have just come to mind at 3 a.m. on a Tuesday morning when I just want to talk about things around streaming and all that kind of stuff. I hope that it has helped you in some way, shape or form. I'm going to try and get some sleep. I don't know when the next video of this type is going to be. I don't know what it's going to be about. But if you have enjoyed this conversation, if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit subscribe. Make sure you follow me on all social medias and make sure that you check me live on Twitch pretty much almost every day. But besides that, thank you for your time. I hope it has helped. It's time for me to go to sleep. I'll see you guys around. Let's go.